I am on my way to work. Left Robert and Daisy at home to wreak havoc in my home. I had such a productive day yesterday, y'all. Oh my heavens. I came home and I, this weekend I had cleaned the garage. I had done so much work on the garage that I wanted Robert to be able to do, you know, the different honeydew list things that he's been wanting to do, but the garage was just inappropriate for anything really, especially with his foot the way it is. And so I cleaned out the garage, I got it really organized, so there's just a ton of extra space in there that he can um, do some projects. Well, yesterday at work, I was kind of dreaming about wanting to organize the tools. We, we don't really have a shelf in there, but we have some things that could be used as a shelf like we have different bricks and you know some um boxes of our flooring that have never been opened because we didn't need them yet um and so i made a makeshift shelf for the tools last night and so all of the tools are in a place that they can actually be seen and they can be used and it's not uh, act of Congress to try to locate what you need. Like Robert this morning asked me, um, for a pipe cutter. If he, if I, if I, he described it to me and I was like, yep, I actually know exactly where that is. And I told him where it was. And so I'm really hoping there's a couple of things we really want to do. Um, one of which is he's trying to re to, uh, to take out the lawnmower and possibly rebuild it. See if he can find what on it isn't working. And so, having all of those tools just kind of organized in a way that isn't just completely frustrating before you ever even start is amazing. And he's going to make a, an indoor uh, garden in one of the back bedrooms. And being able to cut some PVC pipe is going to help that. So, I'm excited. I feel like we are on track to get some stuff done at the house and um, I kind of got some laundry put away because he did laundry yesterday when he was over at Sam's house and um, so we got some laundry put away and that's a little bit more organized and in the process I just went in and cleaned up the living room so I was happy about that because I was like this looks awful so I got that done and then I even got a little bit of the lawn done in the backyard and um, it has gotten so huge because I'm just not back there and you have to do it so manually. I didn't ask the, the neighbor that let me borrow his lawnmower if I could go and, and do my backyard too. So maybe I'll do that this weekend with him if he'll let me. It's just going to take a while. It's, it's bad. So I got that done until of course my battery ran out on my weed eater. And what else? Um, I think that's it a lot for after work you know I did good um, on keto and I think I'm down another pound so I was kind of in between 181 and 182 kind of on the scale we uh, I ran in the morning I, I was able to get there in time to run in the morning and then I ran at before before we worked out and then we did uh, uh, if you guys know anything about Dirty 30, it's a, it's a beach body workout and uh, she has several like focused things and one of them was legs and we did legs yesterday which pretty much meant 150 million squats, lunges, curtsy squats, so many squats, sumo squats, yeah, so yeah, wow, tired. And then Vicki has been, um, she's kind of started back, one of the girls that I work out with that kind of was out for a while. She's an older lady and she has um, experienced some knee issues in the past. And, and you know, as you get older, things just don't heal like they used to, I guess. And so she hasn't been able to go back to working out in a while. Well, she worked out with us yesterday. And when she does it in the morning, we do 100 squats on first break. And then we get on the treadmill treadmill and just walk until we ran out of time and that's what we did yesterday so I definitely worked out a lot 
and the garage work although it wasn't super like strenuous I think that just being out in the heat and sweating I, I got any I got rid of any water weight I had because I sweat a lot I'm a sweater y'all it's not attractive but it is what it is I usually have to wear a headband thingy when I work out because otherwise it just gets in my eyes when I did my three mile um, this past weekend I forgot to wear my headband thingy and um, it sobbed a lot. I was sad that I didn't have it because my eyes started to sink from all of the sweat in the eyes. It was unpleasant. But tomorrow is Robert's birthday and so I am taking tomorrow off and we are going to hang out um, depending on what the boys are able to do. We were trying to decide um, we told him flat out with Robert not working we don't really have any money of course he would like to do something but I can't budget that I just can't I have too many other bills that I have to pay this week and so um, I do have one bill that I'm trying to negotiate a later a later payment on I'm trying to refinance my vehicle for a um, lower interest rate because it just seems crazy to pay as much in, in interest as I'm paying right now. So, I should find out when I get to my desk today whether or not I was accepted on that. And if I am, then that will definitely take load off stress. But, it's, it's, it's been a struggle with him out trying to figure out how to pay the bills that I allotted to his paycheck, you know? Um, because I have, I only have two really big bills, you know, my car payment and our mortgage, and I had those set up so that on his payday is when we paid them, and he doesn't have a payday, so he'll get paid this Friday, and I don't know how much it will be, but I think right now it's supposed to be like forty bucks, maybe, because it was only for like three, or three, four days, three and a half days, something like that. No hours three hours that's right four hours that's why it's small so it is what it is I mean we got it we got to figure out how to make it work so I'm trying to be creative tomorrow we also are going to the doctor to find out what she wants to do about his foot which I can't imagine it doesn't need surgery I just I, I can't imagine it's, there's no other way to fix that you can't walk around with it so Hopefully we can get that surgery um, scheduled quickly. And what's probably going to happen is most of the days after his surgery, the day of his surgery and the days after, I'm probably going to take off and just take vacation for it because I don't want him to feel like he's stuck all by himself. And um, and I mean, yeah, it will impact, but sometimes because of the um, losing overtime pay the impact is less if I just go ahead and use as much vacation time as I can because I'm not getting paid any kind of extra anyway so depending on whether or not I can um, make sure that my job is done appropriately by the people that are still there that's kind of the key there like it is anywhere you know how that is so anyway Robert made like a it was kind of funny he made like a a stock a, a vegetables no it wasn't even vegetable it was like a meat stock soup so it was just like meat and then seasoning chicken and seasoning so it was like a chicken soup kind of but with nothing but chicken so it was it was it tasted lovely I'm not saying it didn't taste lovely it was just weird <laughs> because there was nothing but chicken in it but when that's what you have that's what you have so we'll go probably tomorrow and get some other groceries. I just told him I really wanted chicken salad and so he spent the bulk of our grocery money on just buying chickens. And I don't know that that was necessarily something that he was as excited about as I was. I just love chicken salad for lunch. I love it. And you know, the canned chicken is okay, but it's not necessarily the right chicken. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's okay. It's always tasted okay. 
I just, it's hard for me to spend as much as I have to spend in the cafeteria on chicken when I can buy a whole chicken for the amount of money they want me to spend on one meal. So, the cheapskate in me is like, let's just buy some chickens. I mean, the deboning thing was not so much fun. I forgot what that was like. Robert wanted to just give me thighs, just dark meat. And I was like, I just like the mix. You know, I think, although white meat doesn't have as much of the things that keto carnivore wants, it's still part of the chicken. You know, I, I think if you're going to do a head to tail mentality, head, head to hoof, I don't know how they say that, then I wanted to mix it. I wanted to mix the white and the dark and, you know, whatever else was in there. You know, I didn't put the skin in there because that would just be weird. Um, but there were some skins in the, in the soup. Just because it got left over. Um, but I feel like that he's very focused on having just the dark meat. He likes just the, the, um, the fatty, like, wing meat. Or just really any, any of the, the fatty dark meat on a chicken. That's what he would prefer. And I'm, you know, I'm good with that. And I understand because like now when I eat a breast and most of the time it's just so dry that it's like, Ugh. but I don't know. That's just my own personal opinion. I think that in the chicken salad, it was really good having both in there. It's a good mix. It's a good mix. Well, I'm at work and I'm already 10 minutes after I would normally start my workout. So I may just go in there and and use the machine today instead of being able to run. I don't know, it'll depend on how quickly I can get in there. Because I would like to do a little workout this morning. I almost just stayed home and did dishes instead of working out, but I ended up going anyway, so that happened. But I was able to walk Daisy. I, I added in a, um, sometimes when I don't get her, I do a mix of the dry food and then like a can, like a couple scoops of the canned meat liquid meat kind of thing moister and she really likes that but if I don't give it to her then it kind of messes with her stomach and she gets a little um congested in her belly sorry um and so when we walked today she she did much better I was getting worried about her with her tummy but it was a good walk and it was fast and Nothing really to report there. All right, I'm going to work. I'll see you guys later. Bye, thanks for watching.